Thank you, Mr. Chair, for the opportunity to speak to the sixth substantive meeting. And we further thank you, Mr. Chair, for providing guiding questions and for your efforts to engage stakeholders. I speak for the Centre of Excellence for National Security, or CENS, a policy research think tank based at RSIS, the Rajaratnam School of International Studies in Singapore. We seek to answer your guiding questions and note the concerns that states have raised in this substantive meeting, so we are proposing two ways that stakeholders like us can help states with implementing the agreements in the second annual progress report. Firstly, protection of critical infrastructure. We note that many states in the meeting yesterday raised concerns about the protection of critical infrastructure. We believe that more can be done to bring together states, critical infrastructure operators, cybersecurity professionals, civil society and academia together to better protect national, international and supranational critical infrastructure. We believe this is relevant to the second annual progress report, paragraphs 12, 13, 17 and 23. We are therefore planning a series of multi-stakeholder, multi-region roundtables on protecting critical infrastructure. The roundtables will seek to exchange views on existing and potential threats to operational technology, OT, Internet of Things, IoT, understand challenges, share best practices and frameworks, discuss regional and global cooperation, and create learning opportunities. We will draw on our own experience and networks built while developing and assisting in the review of Singapore's Operational Technology Cybersecurity Master Plan. We welcome states and regional organisations to partner with us in this effort. Number two, implementations of rules and norms and principles. We note the concerns of states that there is still a gap in the understanding of the 11 norms of responsible state behaviour and the urgency to create a checklist of how states can implement these norms. Therefore, we encourage states to engage relevant stakeholders, academic institutions like our think tank, to facilitate workshops on implementation of rules, norms and principles, and to help develop checklists for implementation. We draw on our experience in conducting workshops for capacity building, norms and international law in the ASEAN region and for the UN Singapore Cyber Programme. We can share that the in-depth conversations at these workshops do help states. We also encourage states to engage operators of critical infrastructure and critical information infrastructure to identify how to implement the norms for protection of critical infrastructure. And we encourage states to share their experiences and best practices. We believe this will help the second APR paragraphs 24, 25, 26 and 27. We look forward to collaborating with states and stakeholders in upcoming activities for protection of critical infrastructure and implementation of rules, norms and international law. Thank you, Chair.